Hey folks, my name is Randy Thorson and I'm going to be your instructor this term for DC circuits. Um, it's an introduction to electricity class. So um, what I always like to do is start off by asking y'all a question. So how many of y'all want to learn what it is that you signed up to learn? See there? Every hand in the house went up. I want to learn this. Well, let me ask you this. How many of y'all would be sitting here watching this video if there was not a job at the end of the rainbow? See, there's nobody be sitting We're after the job. That's what it's about. Um, one thing I do want to tell you, though, is it's probably not the job that you're looking for either. Because how many of y'all actually know which job it is that you're going to end up with when you finish the program? See, not too many people have an idea. So it's not really the job that you... Folks, the reason you're here and you're studying this is because you have a vision for yourself that is doing better tomorrow than what you're doing today. For some of you, that means putting nicer Christmas presents underneath the Christmas tree. Some of you, it's eating steak instead of ground meat, or it's even eating ground meat instead of ramen noodles. Whatever it is for us, that's what we're here for. Now, you have to understand that all those rewards don't come until you finish this program. So finishing is a big deal. Now, you've started out. You've made the first step. You've started the program. The deal is, folks, there's going to be obstacles that come up. I mean, boom, look what we got right here. We got a pandemic, and we're starting a term in light of that, folks. And look, I got I to gotta hand it to you. Um, that's, that's determination. You know, when somebody weaker might have said, no, I'm going to wait until y'all jumped in and y'all are getting it. So um, that's commendable. I have a lot of respect for that. So, but you're not here because you're dying to learn about instrumentation or automation electronics or HVAC electrical or P-TECH or whatever program you're in. That's not why you, you don't have a burning desire to learn that. But these are the things that you have to learn in order to be good at your craft so you can get out there and, and buy those new trucks. Uh, and cars and, and buy that new house and, and all the things that you want. So keep that in mind as you're going through. Things are gonna get tough, but that's when you pick yourself up, folks, dust yourself off and get back on. Trust me, I went through the last term, uh, the last half of, it, half of it totally remote, and it was a struggle. And I found out that my best platform is right here doing videos. Because the way this course is set up, it's, it's fairly unique. I don't have any technology that I bring into the classroom. I, I, I don't. I don't do PowerPoints, I don't slideshows, I don't do YouTube videos. I don't bring guest speakers in. It's me and y'all, folks. I'm gonna teach you everything. Now, you did get a book. They're NCCR books, and you're going to have an opportunity to take an NCCR test at the end of the course if you want to. But I don't teach out of the book. I don't say read chapter blah, 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 and go answer questions, so on and so forth. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to tell you exactly what it is that you need as we go through. So based on that, these videos are going to be the key to your success in this DC Circuits class. Also, maintaining good communication with me. Now, you got to understand, and this is a new term, and I'm starting off, and I got a little over 50 students, that's both morning and night, that are taking part in this course. So that's me dealing with 50 of y'all, 50 tests coming in, 50 worksheets coming in. Y'all have to deal with one person. Well, actually three, because you got three courses this term, but for this course, you have to deal with one person, and the only thing you need to do is make sure that your 
email address is working through ITI because I use ITI email for all my communication. Everything that you're going to do, you're going to send back to my email address. Everything that I'm going to communicate to you, I'm going to send to your email address. I have this YouTube channel. Um, all these videos are posted on YouTube, so I'll be sending you to YouTube to catch up on these videos. But folks, it's going gonna, it's gonna to boil down to you just and, and how badly you really want this this education, um, this future for yourself. Been around here a long time. I've seen success. I've seen failure. Um, if you have any problems, folks, any questions, my door is open. I'm here to try and make this experience for you as comfortable as it possibly can. Of course, you're in school. How much comfort can there be in that? But as far as helping you understand, I'm going to do everything I possibly can, okay? So that being said, I also want to point something out, and that's the value that you're, that you're actually investing. Number one, these programs are two years long. The associate degree programs are two years long. That means you've committed two years of your life. These programs, they're not cheap. One of them, an associate degree program, will run you around $30,000. So let's see how much that boils down to. So if, if a program If a program is $30,000, there are eight terms in a program, that's $3,750 per term. There are four, or there are three courses per term. How much do you pay per course? Well, per course, $1,250. So $1,250 for this course in DC circuits is what you're spending. And so there's 15 sessions in every course. Divide that by 15, it boils down to $80 a session, a night, a day, a session. There's four hours in every session. It costs $20 an hour to come to the school. And go ahead and break it down one more time. It's $5 every 15 minutes. $5 every 15 minutes. Now, when we get back to school, if you want to, if you get here five minutes late, take, or if you get here 15 minutes late, take your $5 bill out your wallet and just light that sucker on fire. If you want to leave 30 minutes early, go ahead and take you a 10 out and light it on fire because that's what we're doing, folks. This is important to me. Knowing how much you're investing and spending is my responsibility to give you as quality of an education as can be allowed. Um, when we do get back in the session, I'll be spending a lot of time walking around the classroom making sure you got it, but we don't have that luxury. So if there's anything that you don't understand that comes out of these videos, make sure you use my email address. Get in touch with me and let's get it cleared out. So. So this is actually the course that we're in. It's ET 101. It is basic DC circuits. My name is Randy Thorson. Mr. Randy, Mr. Thorson, either one of them is fine. And my email address is rthorson, T-H-O-R-E-S-O-N 
at iticollege.edu. That's going to how you be. That's how you'll be getting in touch with me, and how we'll be exchanging information. So just to let you know, um, I'll always start with an agenda. Make sure that you write this stuff down. Now, that's something else that I tell my students when they come in my classroom. All this stuff that I'm going to write down on this board and have you write down, I could easily give you a handout. I could have made them, and it had been easier on me instead of having to write it. But, folks, the reason I write it on the board is so that you will take the time and write it down in your notes. You want to create a notebook as we go through. You want to have the agenda for every day when it starts, and you want to go through, as I tell you, well, you want to write this down off the board, take and pause the video, write it down, because a lot of the time I spend in the classroom, I spend waiting for people to finish up writing things down. So just pause it, and then write down on the board, and then get the video going again. Um, so... Based on that, the agenda for today is I'm going to do the intro. Well, I've done the introduction, basically. Um, we're going to go into atomic theory. We're going to talk about ionization, conductors and insulators, voltage, current, and resistance, and we're going to finish up on the circuit. Um, just to kind of give you an understanding about how this course is graded, there's uh, actually two parts. There's an academics part of the course and a lab portion of the course. The academics portion will consist of six quizzes. Four of them come before midterm. So that's six quizzes, four before midterm, two after, and you'll have a midterm exam and a final exam. This incorporates your academic side of your grades. I will tell you this, all of your quizzes averaged up is only worth one-fourth of what each one of those exams is worth. So the quizzes are kind of like a, a warm-up, and then you take the exam, and exams really count. Now, the academic gives you 60% of your course grade, where lab gives you 100%. Folks, if I get good communication out of you and you're turning your stuff in, you're going to get 100 in lab. So that's going to help you out big time. The lab usually does. There's two physical labs that we do in this course. One, we learn to use our meters to measure resistance, voltage, and current. In these labs, one of them comes up fairly soon, uh, and the other one is in the second half of the term. Depending on whether we're in the classroom or not, I'll either be giving you a demo of the lab to count as you're doing the lab, or we'll be back in the classroom and we'll do the lab. So that'll be the lab portion. So typically, what I'm going to do is we're going to go through information, we'll quiz on it. As a matter of fact, what we talk about today, next week, we're going to have a quiz on what we discussed today. So those first four quizzes are going to come bam, 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 one right after the other. So you just got to make sure that you keep up with the information. I know you got two other courses this term. So I'm going to try and make it as simple for you as I possibly can, all right? So all that being said, what we're going to do is going to take a little pause for the cause and then come back and we'll jump into atomic theory, okay? All right, folks, thanks.